Good morning. Um, I'm going to try to reshoot the video that I made in a Zoom session to show you how to open your assignments and put them into OneNote again. So here we go. Um, I opened up this computer, which should be a computer just like yours, to the module section in Canvas. And so I'm going to scroll down and choose an assignment. So I'll choose today's assignment, which is 1.6a CBG5, which is using subject pronouns. So we're going to click on the link. You may have to set up your email. I'm using a student of mine. hit next. Oh, I got a typo here. Then this screen will come up that says Cop make a copy. So you want to click on that because we want to make a copy. When a copy comes up, we're going to go over here to File, scroll down, to print. Then we're going to go over here to this destination down arrow and we're going to click on OneNote for Windows 10 and hit print again. That will open up OneNote down here at the bottom. You see it blinking at the bottom of the screen. So then I'm going to click on the OneNote that's blinking, and it'll open up OneNotes, and it says Get Started. So I'm going to click on Get Started because I've never been in OneNote before. And I'm going to set up a Spanish uh, notebook. So this has already got a Spanish notebook set up because it has been opened before. And if it's been opened before, then your assignment goes right into it. You see my assignment here? So I'm going to make this bigger so that I can get to my assignment. Here it is. There's the assignment. If you want to write on the assignment, you come over here and you click Draw. If you're going to write with your finger, you can click this hand, it says draw with mouse or touch, and then choose what color you want to write with. I'm going to write with uh, blue today. So then I should be able to come over to my assignment and write in blue. You see how I'm writing with blue on my assignment page? And so then you fill out your assignment. If you want it to be bigger, you take off the writing instrument and make it bigger so that you can see it and then you can write on it. Put the handwriting back on and you can put your answers in the blanks and then when you're done with your assignment and you're ready to send it back to me you'll have to take a screenshot. To take a screenshot you click on your keyboard the Windows sign 
the shift key and the letter S and it makes your screen go dark like this. You choose the first box, rectangular snip, and then you place an arrow on the screen and hold it down and drag it over what you want to save to send to me. This is a screenshot. When you let go of it, it puts it down here in the corner. Then you click on it with your arrow in the corner. It brings it up and you click on the floppy disk at the top that says save as and it's going to let you choose where you save it. I save everything on the desktop because then it's easier to find. So I choose desktop and then I click save and it will save that image onto the desktop. So now I've got it saved on my desktop, so I'm going to X out of it here and X out of it here. And I'm going to go back to Canvas. You see where it says Submit Assignment? I'm going to put some, I'm going to touch Submit Assignment, click on that, and scroll down. It'll say Choose File. So I'm going to click on Choose File, that little gray button. I'm going to go back to the desktop there's that assignment I saved there. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click open and there's the assignment. It's wrote it right here and now I can submit the assignment. And that's all there is to it. So that's how you get your assignment in OneNotes. Make it so you can write on it and then take a screenshot and submit it back into Canvas so that I can grade it. I hope this helps you understand. Bye.